There's a 20 year plus history of growing data on the effectiveness of neurofeedback. More recently, there's actually data specifically geared towards the addictions. Centers have demonstrated that individuals who undergo neurofeedback are more likely to remain in treatment, they're more likely to be dedicated to the treatment process, and the outcomes demonstrate they're much less likely to relapse. The outcome of the studies indicated to us that this was a very valuable tool that we need to keep and use. I've noticed a big change. I'm like a new woman here. I came here uh, based on alcohol addiction. I came here seeking uh, treatment for my drug and alcohol addictions. One of the main reasons why I chose New Seasons was because of the neurofeedback program. So I looked all over the United States and there was only two, two, two rehab centers that had uh, neurofeedback available. I had been to one other treatment center and there it was very similar philosophy um, to this one except for they didn't have neurofeedback available and I wanted something different and that uh, obviously I relapsed after the last one and so um, I chose you know, New Seasons uh, and the neurofeedback is, I mean, definitely like from doing it. I mean, obviously, it is something very different. I didn't think I, I didn't think you could change your brain by by staring at a video game. Um, you know, I, did, I didn't know it existed. We utilize neurofeedback as a part of a holistic approach. We do offer the psychotherapy. We do offer physical training. We offer acupuncture. We, also, in offering the neurofeedback, the goal there is to help with the emotional reg regulation. It's not either or. It isn't that the neurofeedback is making all the difference in their addiction process. It isn't that only the psychotherapy can be helpful. It's hand in glove. I also noticed that when people are doing alpha theta, they're more open to other therapies that are going, along, going on within the treatment center. They seem to, to be more open to step study. They seem to be more open when they're in a group therapy. It kind of opens them up a little bit to you know, getting some of this information. So that's the other, uh, another aspect of the therapy that I think is very valuable as far as recovering addicts go. I've been here a little over four months. Um, I've done neurofeedback every weekday since I've been here. I've noticed a big change. My mood is much more stable. Sleep patterns, being able to get to sleep, um, feeling calmer during the day. I'm a clinical neuropsychologist, licensed as a psychologist, so I'm the licensed person on site that has gone through the training for neurofeedback and have an understanding how to supervise that. We also have two separate technicians that have thoroughly gone through the whole training and uh, are clinicians in and of themselves. They, they interact with the client in a, a clinical kind of way. For example, there's questions that we have them answer at the very beginning of every session about how they're doing. And many times information will come up and they'll start talking with that person and they may express things that they aren't necessarily expressing in the psychotherapy sessions. So our technicians are utilized as a member of the treatment team. It's, it's, at first it was kind of awkward just because I'm not used to doing it. But uh, other than that, it's almost kind of a nice break from the rest of the day. You know, I'm so busy kind of consciously working on stuff that it's nice to kind of sit back and just take a break and, and let whatever happens up there happen. By gaining the feedback in a game-like situation, the people actually uh, are able to, to look forward to it. They, they certainly enjoy that. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm noticing a change in my psychotherapy uh, as well as you know, outside of the sessions. By using, utilizing the neurofeedback system, we're able to get the client to benefit that much more from the other aspects of the program. When I was in ther therapy at my last re rehab center, um, the difference that I saw there from here was that I became really emotional but I had a hard time uh, getting out of that emotion and moving along into then kind of processing it out. So I felt like it was kind of, I was stuck 
And then now with the real, uh, neurofeedback, I'm able to kind of feel my emotion, recognize it, but then incorporate it into you know the, the greater context of what I'm discussing. I don't have I don't have the hunger to drink. One of the reasons why I'm interested in neurofeedback is because I'm a neuropsychologist in addition to being a psychologist. I want to understand what's going on on a brain level that leads this person to act in a certain way. The more we understand about brain functioning, the better therapists we're going to be. So I'm interested in anything that has to do with changing the brain because that's how we change people. And one of the strongest ways to change the brain is with neurofeedback. It is direct, it's strong, but it's non-invasive. It has no significant secondary effects. I'm not saying do away with medications. There's reasons for clients to be on medication. There's reasons for clients to be involved in psychotherapy. There's reasons to have clients exercise reasons for clients to exercise their brain. My understanding right now is that 75 to 95 percent of the people entering treatment suffer from some degree of brain dysfunction directly connected to using drugs and the lifestyle that goes with it because a lot of drug addicts, if they're using, they're not eating right, they're not sleeping right, and all of that has an effect on the central nervous system. And the friends that I've made here, the people um, in the AA program that I go to, have, have noticed a big difference in me. I don't think I don't take things as seriously as I used to, and uh, I don't bite my fingernails anymore, which is pretty big. My my peers uh, at the program have noticed that. Uh, I'm just making really, I'm coming along nicely and they've, they've actually mentioned that they're um, impressed with my progress and, and, uh, and admire it and uh, um, some of you may say inspired <laughs> by it.